On the early morning of the 24th, three reinforced air searches are launched. At 0810, search planes from 38.2 sight a large Jap force south of Mindoro. Composed of four battleships, eight cruisers, and 13 destroyers. Commander Third Fleet instructs 38.3 and 38.4 to concentrate on 38.2 at best speed and to strike this force. At 0905, planes from 38.4 intercept a second enemy force in the Sulu Sea, apparently heading for Surigao Straits. This force consists of two battleships, two heavy cruisers, and seven destroyers, two possible light cruisers. 38.4 planes attack, inflicting considerable damage. But it is decided to follow the original plan for 38.4 to close 38.2 and shift target to the central force on the assumption that the 7th Fleet can take care of the southern enemy force. Early in the afternoon of the 24th, aircraft from three groups of Task Force 38 strike at the Central Force. Damage inflicted severe. Reports indicate all the enemy's battleships and cruisers hard hit, with one light cruiser and one destroyer sunk and five destroyers damaged. In the face of these continued strikes, the Jap force continues determinedly on towards San Bernardino Straits. During this time, Task Group 38.3 is being subjected to heavy air attacks from Luzon and from the northeast, apparently from enemy carriers. About 150 enemy planes are shot down, but the Princeton is severely damaged, dead in the water. Strength of the Jap central and southern forces now indicates that a major enemy effort is being made. However, if this is to be an all-out attack by the Jap fleet, one piece is missing in the puzzle, the carriers. On the afternoon of the 24th, air searches are launched to the north, and at 1640, a search plane from 38.3 sights a third enemy force off the northern tip of Luzon. Further reports prove this to be the missing Jap carrier force, formed in two groups. One group reportedly consisting of two carriers one light carrier, three light cruisers, and three destroyers. The second group, four battleships or heavy cruisers, five cruisers, and six destroyers. One battleship is reported to have flight deck aft. Faced with this new Jap threat, Commander Third Fleet evaluates the situation. Major forces of the Japanese fleet are moving toward a predetermined geographical and time focus and the earliest concentration would be on 25 October, although the exact physical objective is not yet clear. The southern force, damaged by 38.4 planes, is last reported at 11.55 on course southeast toward Surigao. The powerful enemy central force has been badly mauled by Task Force 38 planes. The Jap northern force of carriers and heavy surface ships is undamaged. Its possible maximum strength presents a fresh and powerful threat, in contrast to the central force, which is believed to be too heavily damaged for effective action. With this in mind, Commander Third Fleet makes his decision, and at 2024, October 24th, sends an urgent dispatch to Commander Seventh Fleet, stating the position of the Jap central force that strike reports indicate enemy severely damaged, and the Task Force 38 is proceeding north at full strength to attack the enemy northern carrier force at dawn. <laughs>